<laughs> Viva La Vegan! Hi, I'm Lee Chantel from VivaLaVegan.net and welcome to my latest vlog which I'm going to go over for May and June. I hope you've had a great couple of weeks, whatever you've been up to, and uh, it's just become a winter here in Australia, so I hope you're keeping warm or enjoying your summer if you're over in America and other Northern Hemisphere places. Um, I had a really great couple of, of months and um, I've been house sitting over at a place called Tanamara in um, Brisbane's south side. Throughout May um, we went to, normally myself and my friends, we all get together with our mothers on Mother's Day and we go to the local Loving Hut for a Mother's Day lunch which is always good. I went to see Will Potter, a friend of mine from Washington DC. He gave a really good um, talk at one of the law offices in Brisbane and he um, did a talk throughout Australia actually um, as part of the Voiceless Law Lectures. It was very, very interesting and um, I definitely suggest that you check out his website and Green is the New Red, his book, for more information on what he does. It's a really, really amazing book. Um, one of my friends from Indonesia, Santi, um, she just had a baby girl named Gwyneth um, in May on the 16th. I did a couple of podcasts too, so I interviewed um, Derek Goodwin from New York. I interviewed Alicia from Bourgeois Bohème in the UK. And I interviewed Stuart, a vegan from Geelong down in Melbourne in Australia. Um, I went to see a few bands and had a good time. One of my favourite bands, Blue Bottle Kiss from Australia, Jamie Hutchings, the writer, um, the singer, he has a new band called Infinity Broke, so I, I had a really good time seeing them perform their new album. And um, the Janelle Monet and Kimbra um, concert I was really looking forward to was cancelled, so that was a bit disappointing, but hopefully that will happen again soon. I did some interviews for Cruelty Free Super and um, you can see a lot of them on the Cruelty Free Super um, YouTube channel and on their website and um, also interviewed Jeremy Johnson, um, a good friend of mine who has run his business Vegan Perfection for the last eight plus years and um, I was in Sydney again for mostly to see Lauren Hill, one of my favourite singers, songwriters. She performed at the Sydney Opera House and I've never been there to see anyone perform before so that was really exciting and it was part of the Vivid Festival, the Light Festival, so that was really cool to see. Um, she was amazing. Um, I couldn't keep up with her, with her rapping actually when I was trying to sing and rap along because she's so much faster than on CDs and everything. So she was really cool. Um, got to hang out with my friend Robbie. Um, that weekend in Bondi and Darlinghurst and other places like that and got to try a lot of the local vegan cuisine. Um, my favourite place down in Sydney is Nourishing Quarter in Redfern so I got to go there a few times as well. Um, my friend Renata in um, the north side of Brisbane, she had a great um, vegan pizza night where her, myself and another friend, Marisa, we made pizza and I was the cutter and the cooker so I burnt, burnt a few of my um, fingers in the process but it was a really good night and we had a lot of people there and there was an open mic and, um, session happening at the same time so that was really cool. Also in May in the Animal Liberation release magazine that goes out to all their members they featured a few of my recipes and they had a one page feature with some of my raw recipes including my raw chocolate and raw cashew cream and you can get that in my um, more than leaves raw food recipes ebook on vivalavegan.net in the store and they actually did a double spread um, featuring two of the recipes from my upcoming book there's a vegan in the kitchen. One of them is for curry puffs and one of them is for the Inca Red Quinoa stir fry. So if you're a member, I hope you really liked those um, recipes and keep an eye out for um, many different publications and websites that will be featuring some of my recipes in the next, the, the rest of the year. 
so that was my May and then in June um, also was house sitting I did a really good podcast with Victoria Moran she runs um, Main Street Vegan um, from New York and she has a regular podcast every week and um, I had a really good time being interviewed by her and I actually look forward to interviewing her um, I think in July or August I'm doing that so that will be really cool and there's a couple of really beautiful um, days that we have in Queensland and in Brisbane our weather's pretty beautiful even though it is winter at the moment the sun still shines and I was out and about doing various things when we still have beautiful weather we had um, something called Leaf for Logan Eco Action Festival and that was really great to see friends and network and all that and then um, also because I'm a big fan of AFL Australian Football League and the Brisbane Lions my team I had the chance to check out the Gabba and where they train and all that sort of stuff so that was really cool to see and we um, definitely all the equipment needs to be upgraded and probably it's time for a new place to play a new venue so you'll be able to always use the field and have better facilities so it was good to actually see that obviously I've been to quite a few of the Lions games or the home games at the Gabba I go to um, unless I go to a wedding so uh, at the end of June I was really happy to go to two of my friends Che and Flick they got married um, down in Yukai which is sort of near the Tweed region and you're sort of heading on the way through um, Mwilumba towards um, towards Kyogle where the Karyat animal um, sanctuary used to be and um, it was a vegan wedding it was a it was a three-day wedding actually so um, people could go down on the Friday afternoon stay until Sunday afternoon and because I was house sitting I could only go for the day so I went and had a road trip a day trip down there on the Saturday I wore um, a purple dress because Flick had suggested people wear purple or pink so I can easily do that um, and then I drove down beautiful day um, and hung around with their family and some of the vegan friends from interstate and from Brisbane it was such a beautiful day it was such a gorgeous um, ceremony and um, vegan food catered by Kuan Yin which is one of our um, vegan places here in Brisbane um, and Flick's mum made the wedding cake which was like a fruit cake and um, it, was just, it was just really beautiful day really beautiful to see and lots of vegans at the wedding um, you'll be able to check out the, um, the blog about that probably later on in this week um, I also have been working on a talk that I, I will give at the beginning of July and it's called marketing yourself using social media and um, it's at the Logan Art Gallery and it's mostly for arts workers in the Logan sort of area but I do hope a lot of people come to that and um, I, I got some really cool things recently um, I got Vegan Market, a new vegan online store they sent me a lot of goodies so thank you very much for that Matthew and um, one of my friends um, Sparkle or Laurie she sent me a really little cute pen um, decorated as only she can decorate them and um, I also um, yeah, have had some really great feedback and some interaction from people. I, um, the lucky thing is I hope um, in August my book will actually be out. So here's a little bit of a sneak peek if you have not seen it before. Um, this is the book that I have all my recipes and um, featuring illustrations by um, Sarah Kaiser who's an artist in Florida um, and designed by my good friend Adele Walker and another good friend of mine Carol Slater took the photography so um, this book was pre-orders pre were available um, last month and um, July they, they will be sent out and or August so you should be able to buy that online through Barnes and Noble and Amazon and all the other sort of stores like that from August so I'll let you know obviously on the vegan.net website and um, 
it's been a, a great couple of months of course and I hope you're having a great couple of months or you've had and you've got um, many great months ahead um, I'm really missing my American friends at the moment because I'm normally over there this time of year for your summer or also my Asian friends so um, I hope you have a really good time have a really good time at all the um, AR events and the vegan events that are happening and I look forward to seeing you sometime soon I'm going down to Sydney at the end of July I've got um, I'm, I'll be there for the vegan Sydney vegan expo I'm having a stall there for cruelty free super I'm running that store and I'm also going down a bit earlier to see one of my favorite bands at the moment the 1975 so if you're in Sydney at the end of July I look forward to seeing you there and to make sure you check out vivalavegan.net for our, all our articles all our blogs videos podcasts etc and I'll see you soon take care